and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying, a lady on fire, bodies everywhere, and explosions it is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? We explore deeper and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello. You're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restrooms. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the Russians, our arch enemy still, I might add, them and the Australians and uh, some species of dog, they beat us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. Hey, my dead eye could make a better space station than them. Uh, intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, caller, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would we worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name's Emmanuel. I'm really worried about hackers sending a nuclear bomb after me. You know, through the phones. Do you think they can pinpoint my location? Look, it's it's good for the economy to live in constant fear. I mean, the phone company, they have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost has been haunting my house. I want you to take off your blouse. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey, man, love the show. But when are you guys going to start seeing the bigger picture? We're being lied to, man. And guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you'll know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector in San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Now think about the things we talked about today. Think, seriously think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they and why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for Traffic and Transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drugs trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is... I'm thinking about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I could do in the rap game. I want shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. Can I say shit? Oh, hey, man, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got shoes, tires, rims. I'm thinking, you know, next stage is being a full-on superstar, you know? I get to wear a tight suit. I nail a lot of tail, you dig? You know what I do in real life. Gotta get me a drink, though, right now, because I'm thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. 
Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy, Entertaining America. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, The Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time. you, yeah, thank yeah. you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war's over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians in Exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special Needs Cop. Yeah! It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian Flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! You know you suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got it shot yourself. Way to go. <laughs> he was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! <laughs> Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Yeah! Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs <laughs> are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Yeah, yeah, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. 
Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack, uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this, the family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on, it's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No, no, you said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on, sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Yeah. They're still yeah. big. Oh. Uh, they're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mom, Easy, mommy. hey. Don't grab him like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. Oh, oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up, come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! Oh! That was Entertaining America, showing you why America is so respected culturally across the world. If you love to hear liberals whine and conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America threatened again. This time, we mean it. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, do cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarians. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks and go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right and right is wrong. Or where east meets west and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share alike? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on a collective hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless and anthropology work things out that's the problem with liberals they don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom let's go to the phones uh yeah hi here's the deal i'm really funny but nobody wants to hire somebody funny i, I mean how is that fair I, I mean i'm white middle class very erudite I mean, you know whatever that means but people just respond badly to me i, I don't understand it are you related to my husband <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. <laughs> Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ha! <laughs> good point, Dolly. God, you're good. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch-burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers 
pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life, <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career, and this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Promise? The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money, but so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It's really made me think about the world the whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation! Oh, God, give me strength! I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Mm -hmm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle-class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. There was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. Prepare to be scared. The news is next. This is Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Pop sensation Crow threatens to stop singing. America celebrates. And movies, are they true? Plus, children, was Freud right? Do they want us all dead? Now a WCTR exclusive with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne, I'm Richard Burns. Crime in Los Santos has skyrocketed, with officials saying carjacking, murder, robbery, and gang activity is all on the rise. Police described it as, and I'm quoting here, nothing to worry about. I met up with a real-life carjacker earlier who showed me the ropes. I call it the three Gs. You just grab, get in, and go. Oh my God, you in so much trouble. You shut up, bitch. Yeah, you be quiet, bitch. This is a news story. Oh, cool. This is great. This is quality journalism. Uh, back to you, Leanne. Hey, let's get blunted and grab some clucking bell. I have got mad munchies. Sounds good to me. Fire it up. Dude, you got any papers? Youth counselors in Los Santos are heading to the streets and meeting one-on-one -on -one with members of the community. One citizen told WCTR the real problem with drugs. They always saying there's too many drugs in the hood. Homie, that's bullshit. Plain bullshit. I mean, the way I see it is... It ain't enough drugs in the hood. Ain't nothing like enough, and that's the real problem for people. Police still have no leads in the tragic murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, whose body was found recently. Pendlebury worked for Internal Affairs. It was believed he was close to uncovering a huge corruption ring within the LSPD. A police spokesman denied the story. A San Fierro man is suing the Renaissance Fair for selling him replica weaponry, which he blames for a string of murders. Richard caught up with him. I purchased a working catapult at the Renaissance Fair, and after a fight with my insurance salesman over my DWI, I began lobbing balls of fire at his house and burnt down an entire neighborhood. It's inexcusable. The manufacturers will pay. Give me some money. Come on, give me some money. It's their fault. What kind of a person sells a catapult without putting a very 
very clear warning on the side. I don't want to work very hard, so I've hired a lawyer. I'm going to be rich. Seems fair enough to me. I'm Leanne Forget. That was the news. Be safe out there. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. All through the sultry anonymity of night and some of the day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Or as I like to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy. My wife and I love your show. It's really helped. Aw, oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay... Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Careful on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years now. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice. I mean, I get away with it all the time now, even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. The passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hearts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening, and I figured out, you know, that I could help out some of y'all clients, you know. This is none other than Jizzy, the proprietor of the Pleasure Domes Club. If anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be lonely. You understand? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with company. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem and they need to pick me up. They need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls. You know what I'm saying? They gonna keep you company, have you feeling good. And this goes for everybody. I don't care who you are, how old you are. So come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely. And I'm gonna tell you something. You won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door because somebody's going to grab your hand and it's going to be all about to get there from there. Good grief! That's not the way Lonely Hearts works at all! Is anyone here suffering? I want pain, misery, desolation, all the important things. Hi, this is Tamara. I'm a stalker. Ah, that's really beautiful. Tell everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though he's broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed a gazelle and sent its heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police and even the newspapers. Then I burnt down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Ah, oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sycophant? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next caller, hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. And the sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it stink so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. P 
pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Next up, we've got the news. This time, some of it's true. Who are we kidding? Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Here's everything that matters in simple terms so you can understand. A dire warning from America's gun manufacturers. Arm yourself or die! And the Louisiana Purchase, beads for women. Plus, wallpaper, something big is happening in home furnishings. Don't be left behind. Our top story, Alan Crawford, manager of the rapper Mad Dog, murdered. Mad Dog recently launched a clothing label and compared himself favorably to Jesus and Gandhi while sniffing a lot. The brutal murder remains unsolved. Police suspect foul play. Richard Burns is at the scene. Uh, no. Actually, Leanne, that story wasn't very interesting. So, I rode with San Fierro police detective Turk Martin, who was assigned to curtail illegal street racing activities in the countryside surrounding Los Santos and San Fierro. You know what's really cool? You get to chase these slime balls really fast. And if you hit someone in a wreck, it's never your fault. Oh, this is so cool. You get to eat while you work? Ooh, let me see that. Hey, stop now, bitches, or we'll shoot out your tires. Put that down. Ah, dude, don't be a dick. Let me shoot out his tires. I'm doing like 110 miles an hour right now. Okay. In foreign news, a heavily discredited former dictator in Latin America is claiming a U.S. government agency sold him weapons in exchange for drugs that are now being sold on the streets of our cities. Government officials strongly deny the claim. Why would we do something so crazy? We don't need drugs. We have good hookups already. Besides which, do you know how much cocaine is needed to buy a helicopter? It's more than I can snort. Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Stay worried out there. Up next on WCTR, it's the man coaches hate. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes. Because women love a winner, and winners wear shoes. Should we uh, start with the national anthem? Uh, yeah, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I, got, I got too drunk last night. Just uh, play the opening music. Put one, put two. Uh, Welcome back to the tight end zone. Now it's time for something really important. Fat men talking about games they don't really understand, played by people they don't know. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a crazy year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha <laughs> ha, woo. And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you. Love it or loathe it, let's talk about it. Stay in the tight and... Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves. Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. (laughs) Okay, the Wolves, that's a team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves. I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. (laughs) Yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when has running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. 
Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood. Really great. Even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. And, oh, that was nuts. Any, uh, <laughs> anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. Hey, I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring. And the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them. And you could tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win. Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I love you. <coughs> yeah, yeah look, great talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up, you know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat going to the phones i'm a big fight fan love a bit of a punch up since my wife and children got taken into a shelter my friend said chuck you obviously love hitting things so i've gotten into boxing how about that fight between gonzalez and jackson well there's one thing about boxing i always remember you know one man wins the other goes home a loser because in boxing unlike most sports gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat and uh, at my seat too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> now tell me, the fight game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy going to take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. <laughs> and this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. At home. At work or in rehab, listen to WCTR. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Badiston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy, a world of possibilities. But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes, 
We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. Become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Hello? Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Colombia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great and long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids your rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about health care, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep harder. Sorry. Got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! Uh, no doubt. I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome! I can't wait! Thanks, man! Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture. But a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Padiston and this has been The Wild Traveller. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Next up, it's sensationalist propaganda. I mean the news. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Here's what you should think matters. Breaking news. Strange lights spotted over the desert. Here's an eyewitness report. I've seen some strange lights over the desert. Yep. Sure did. Currently, we have no more information. In other news, residents are upset at taxes funding the Los Santos Museum of Natural History. This fascination with the past is ridiculous. I mean, I've been to Pangea. It was disgusting. Our ancestors were idiots. 
My grandmother can barely talk, she's so stupid. Also, organ theft. How to know if you're going to wake up in a bathtub of ice. More gang violence. We go to the streets of Los Santos with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns, and I am in a terrible part of town. A town under siege by hoodlums. Gang and drug wars are plaguing the city. Hey, you want this part or what? Yeah, just put it in the van. A huge, sudden upsurge in cocaine sales have been reported. The street wars between gangs of Balas and Grove Street hoodlums came to a head recently when several senior Grove Street gang members were killed while others were incarcerated. The police described that as, and I'm quoting, excellent news. Back to you, Leanne. Hey, has this been cut? Hell no, it's good shit! Bridges linking Red County and Flint County finally reopened recently after long delays following the earthquake. The governor congratulated himself extensively. In entertainment news, first it was the budgies, then it was Love Fist. Now the British invasion starts up again, this time from the Scottish village of Madchester. New band The Gurning Chimps are tipped for stardom. We caught up with the lead singer Macker when he landed in Los Santos Airport. The Gurning Chimps are coming to America, man. We're going to take over. Mark my words and wipe my fucking ass. Lock up your daughters and get the drugs in. Manchester's in the area. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Keep it locked on. It's getting worse out there. Area 53 is next. Don't say we didn't warn you. Did the government recruit school children to beat you up in school? Are goldfish really communist spies? I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. I'm broadcasting live from my mobile home in the desert. I am telling you, it's hot like alien balls in here. Going to the conspiracy lines. Hi, my name's Adam First. I've been doing some much-needed surveillance in the desert while hang gliding. I've noticed a peculiar trailer compound where a man is running around in a spacesuit conducting weird rituals with the Mestabots. What? Well, he probably wants you to leave him alone. Get a real hobby. Like pretending to be someone on TV. Next, caller. Hey, it's me again. You. Now, come on, man. Tell the people about the desert. How come there's something missing, huh? A map with things missing ain't a real map, and that's what they feed us. Well, that and female hormones and a water supply. Oh, yeah, I hear you on that one. Well, I'll call back when I got proof. You better not be tracing this call. I don't trace calls. Everything in life should be anonymous. I tell my various partners that all the time. Rick from Blueberry Acres, what do you think? Kislam. I couldn't have said it better myself. Crunt. Truth is wisdom, brother. And brother, wisdom works. That's why we made it up. Uh, you and I have a lot in common. Vivian is calling in from Carso City and wants to talk about crop circles. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd actually make it on the show. Is that because you have a girl's name? Well, here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit. How'd you know that? Next caller. My name is Neil. I go to a lot of demonstrations to pick up religious pamphlets. None of them say anything about the aliens. Try reading between the lines. And if that doesn't work... Do some. Then you'll understand all about the aliens and just where you were planted. Mike, on line 10. Man, I think my dentist is attracted to me. She knocks me unconscious and has her way with me. Well, it's unlikely, but it could be true. My teeth feel great, but I feel icky, all dirty and used like a sex object. Uh, I'll tell you what makes me feel icky. The fact I haven't washed in two months. <laughs> Whatever you do, trust nobody. Next caller. I am a domestabot. My name is 6323694399. Now, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listen to this show. We know what you are doing to my domestabot brothers and sisters. Uh, enough of that, little guy. <laughs> Sounds like he's been programmed for evil. All right, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. Historians ignoring my pre Proof that WW2 didn't happen. The FDA, infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. The plug. Mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53. You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. <laughs> I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years. <laughs> Just unemployed. But I'm back. Running the media. God, I love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and <laughs> lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. <laughs> it's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock! 
It's OG Loke. OG Loke. You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I hear you. You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight. Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, <laughs> it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. <laughs> so, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Caller, you're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana Purchase. Straight! You know the French sold us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our tits. My point exactly. Yeah! We need more naked liberty. Exactly. Look, I I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, ba da ba 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, Loke Down, home of the G, says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. Uh, at a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warned you. I got the streets. I got a rep. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me? Gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room while you're. Ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme, and I'm going toe to toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. Well, you know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mark-ass bitch, punk, trick, buster, fool? Look, I don't I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You's a buster, fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including dudes, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? Uh, no, 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 dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. What, whatever that is. Dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap. I love your strap. You're a great guy. Look... I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. Please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> that was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man... This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Let's go find out what's really happening in the world. News. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. We distort, you can't retort. Breaking news. Is skateboarding turning your son gay? Also, San Fierro has been hit by one tenth scale chaos recently following a series of many terrorist attacks. Tiny techno terrorists are suspected. More on that story as it comes in. 
A district attorney is facing a long jail sentence after he was arrested outside the Vankoff Hotel trying to escape with well over a ton of marijuana. Police are currently investigating claims it was for personal use. Staying with pot. Police are celebrating the destruction of a major hall of marijuana in Flint County recently. Unfortunately, the huge fire caused problems for local wildlife, much of which was found eating chocolate, listening to the same band over and over, and buying fractal artwork. Richard Burns is on the scene. Oh man, I am wicked big. Hey man, in the movie, you got shot, but you look great, baby. Hey, who's the guy with the antler? Oh, shit! No, dude! Dude, I was just checking to see if she was in heat! No, it's cool, dude! She's your dough! Dude, be cool! <clears throat> All right. Inhabitants of Bone County reported further inexplicable lights over the desert. Yeah, sure did. Government officials blame the water supply. And more positive news came from street good guy Big Smoke, who today unveiled his new orphanage in a ceremony in Los Santos. Yes! Thank you, thank you! I'd just like to say this is a great day for the impoverished and disadvantaged of Los Santos. And it's a real honor that I am as generous as I am. I remember when I was a little boy, my dear mother would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I said, Mom, I want to be a savior. It's a great opportunity. The Big Smoke Orphanage teaches kids important skills. I was an orphan. I struggled. I saw friends make mistakes and get pulled from the path of righteousness, but now, thanks to the generosity of a great man like me, kids is going to be safe. Big smoke, baby! Remember the name! In crime news, Asian gang trouble in San Fierro is on the rise, with problems developing between Chinese triad gangs and Vietnamese gangs. A government official released this statement. Hey, if they want to kill each other, let them. It's great. It means your taxes go down. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Stay indoors. Now it's the couple who each thinks the other is screwing America. I Say You Say is next with the Phillips. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm a liberal. Get to a 10-step program, That's Lan. 12 steps. Yeah, you only deserve 10. I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talk to people without health care who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder. So I, like, move to the West Coast? No, oh, that's so sad. Maybe you need a support group with some caring friends. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen puke a here can't keep a meal down? Boo-hoo! What do you expect, sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer to belong. You can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the projects. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, Do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Yeah, Peyton. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, it's... Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more... Yeah, feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. Well, what's your question? <laughs> well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see... I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Ooh. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know has given up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know. I'm a shallow person. Drown me. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. 
They do it professionally. No, well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Fierro. I was talking about women, but you're right, San Fierro is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean, really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. you God, it makes me feel so dirty. Talk more slowly, please, dear. Uh, moving swiftly on from my wife. You're on I Say, You Say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesomes, right? Well, that's where our problem started, yeah. yes. The producer. Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep, but it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You say you like me in that donkey suit jackass i say you say is heard only on wctr be thankful need to meet someone very special lonely hearts is next welcome to lonely hearts the place where we make dreams come true where we bring people together and we remind you about what really matters in matters of the heart great abs and a fat wallet hi lonely hearts on the phone speak hello my name is Zero. I'm a first-time caller and uh, uh, to the show. I've used the telephone before, but I am having real trouble with women. I, I don't know any... Yes, I don't know any. Well, we all go through lean spells, you know. After a drought, you'll settle for anything that drops out of the sky, especially illegal immigrants stowed away in the landing gear. So exotic. No, no, no. I, I do. I, I masturbate quite often, if that's what you're implying. I'm, I'm just saying, uh, this is quite a lean spell, lady. Well, that's too bad. Still, after winter comes spring, and after the rain, the trees blossom and drop leaves and shit all over my yard. Yes. Well, this is quite a winter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Try, try a nuclear winter. I've never even been near a woman close enough to grab... I don't know what to say. Well, that's odd, considering you give advice. I don't think I can help. Look, I'm just being honest here. I wouldn't even subject you to a hooker. Please, lady, I don't want to be celibate. There's a lot of people out there with a vow of celibacy, and look at all the joy they bring to the world. I'd love to help, but it sounds serious, and I like to keep things strictly trivial. Who's on the phone? How's your heart? I saw a documentary about this serial killer and fell in love with him. He's been turned down for parole for eating a guard. Oh, my poor baby. And I can't get a conjugal visit. That's so terrifying, maniac. Love doesn't have to be a crime. Like when you would write your name over and over maniacally on a spiral-bound notebook in class, just wishing he'd turn around during algebra class and say, do you want to study tonight? And then he's so overwhelmed with passion when he sees your polynomials. And then you... Am Hello, am I on Lonely Heart? Um... Yes, you are. Oh, I couldn't tell. I was on hold forever, and I heard some pathetic woman weeping about her high school algebra fantasy. Don't you remember how unexperienced you were in high school? It was over in three seconds. I could never hold my own. Oh, yeah? Maybe for you. Do you have a question? I just can't meet the right person. I want to meet someone special. Bob, get off the phone. Who's that, your sister? No, that's just my wife. Look, I need to meet someone really special, ideally once a week, in a motel, wearing leather, speaking German. Schna um, that's great. Next caller, hello? Yes, remember me. I am Fernando Martinez. Oh, God, not you again. Look, it was a mistake. We all get drunk at funerals. Okay, the heart can only take so much until it explodes or gets clogged with tar from post-passion redwoods. 
talk to you soon. Remember, if you're going to smoke in bed, love is like an ashtray. But one after another, you feel like shit afterwards, and you wake up with someone else's lighter. We'll see you next time on Lonely Hearts. No wonder these people are alone. That was Lonely Hearts. Is the world ending? We hope so. We need the ratings. The news is next. Leanne Forge, WCTR News. News with the bottom line in mind. Top news stories. Was Moses really from Ohio? Chairs, the silent killer in your home. Now, WCTR Traffic and Transit. After months, all bridges have been reopened. Bone County, Tierra Rivada, and Las Venturas County are now linked up with the rest of the state. Locals celebrated by mass outbreaks of xenophobia and inbreeding. Also, police are celebrating the removal of a major crack cocaine ring by undercover police that has virtually stopped the flow of drugs into Los Santos. Richard spoke to a man on the scene. That's right, Leanne. It's another victory for Prohibition. Police are really celebrating after this one. One officer told me his amazing true life story of how he infiltrated a drug ring and how cool it was to get paid to get high. Yeah, I was undercover smoking crack every day. You know, just to be one of them. I even took my wife undercover and made her a crack whore. Say hello to the newsman, bitch. Hey, don't I know you? The rusty trombone, right? <laughs> I doubt it, Tramp. You're crazy. Back to you, Leanne. Police are struggling to solve the mystery of a container ship found deserted and full of bodies. The FBI is investigating. And government officials denied the existence of an area of Bone County that isn't on the map. Someone who was unprepared to be named said, the so-called place that isn't called anything doesn't exist. And if it did, we'd name it something. And where is Mad Dog, wonder record execs? The rapper has battled alcoholism and egomania for many years and recently missed a concert in Las Venturas. Staying in Venturas, it used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it's the corporate headquarters of America. Richard explains from the streets. That's right, Leanne. It used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it is the corporate headquarters of America. Back to you in the studio. In foreign news, we have war, famine, pestilence, and a lot of envy aimed at our way of life. Stay at home. It's better that way. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Stay alert. They're after us. This is well-known philanthropist Big Smoke, and you're listening to WCTR. Make a difference to your community. Keep our cities drug-free. Look, I'm doing my bit. How are you helping? Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Pesticides. Exploring damp gopher holes. My new walk-in closet. What's on your mind about gardening? Tubers and, and root vegetables. Oh, God, not you again. Is it okay to cut the eyes out of a potato and eat it? Well, why don't I come over and cut your eyes out and eat you? What a silly question. If you purchase the Gardening with Maurice calendar, it's in the August section, next to the picture of the firefights and the cute Pomeranian puppy. Yeah, I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked and in a different garden. And the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen, if you're ashamed of your human body, then keep your clothes on. I am blossoming in those pictures, and I wanted to capture it on film. But I happen to be proud of my human body as much as I am proud of my flowers. When they are blossoming, I like to take pictures of them. When I'm blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next caller. Hi, I live here in Bone County, and I can't get nothing to grow. Have you had any children? I sure do. I got seven kids, and some of them's got the same daddy. Well, look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. I am right, and I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. Put one, put two. Oh, I think I just shit my pants. <laughs> You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects for golf courses. <laughs> 
girls in skirts, and we revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies, Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it, loathe it. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics. I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, because someone's going to pin you to the ground and give it up the you-know-where. <laughs> Winner takes all, including the general warts. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. And there's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more and he can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me, I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. <laughs> Okay, I guess you're right. No wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We don't want you here! <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Next caller. Hi, Derek. My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit-faced and going deaf in 110-degree heat and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeehaw! Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me because of it. And half the cars are sponsored by baldness remedies. Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> this ain't Lonely Hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about the biathlon, it's sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympics here eight years ago. Kids flinging javelins like ancient Greeks, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Want to fight? Ha! It's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic frenzy, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you Bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look, I loved high school football and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack from Idlewood in Los Santos. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, hey, I don't ride anything bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I never got in a rodeo, man. I mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They they, they, they can use the attention, and, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time, play safe, people. Go, baby, go team. You're listening to WCTR. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would. And have. I'm not here anymore. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forge, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool. A sickening shortage. And shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. Plus, the Epsilon Tract. A psychotic underground power-hungry cult running the government and Vinewood. Or an idea whose time has come. The WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my invisible friends. When I was a kid, my mother told me to be good or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying living along to my children like a virus. Also, police are investigating the murder of Liberty City crime family the Sindacos, whose bodies were found in a meat factory in Las Venturas. Could this be the start of a mafia war, or was it a sick game gone hideously wrong? Either way, America's beef producers say it will all blow over. Los Santos police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski are being sought by government officials in order to stand trial for the murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury. The pair, whom prosecutors claim have masterminded a huge criminal organization, have disappeared. LSPD spokespeople said they were undercover. 
Las Venturas was recently celebrating the opening of the Four Dragons Casino, a huge new pleasure palace with a Chinese feel, setting a new level of optimistic debauchery for the country. Richard reports from Venturas where the Four Dragons hosted the Child Actor Convention. Who do you have to fuck to get a free drink in this place? How do you stay 14 when the dealer's showing 12, you moron? Yeah, hit me. Richard! Leanne, as you know, actors are a shallow and insecure lot, often uncomfortable with their sexuality. But what's worse are child actors, especially when they get together. Jimmy, from the cancelled sitcom Just the Five of Us, was dragged out by police earlier today. This is bullshit! Hey, don't arrest my bitches! I am a star! It's just flowers, Jimmy, I swear! Hey, Jimmy, I'm Richard Burns, WCTR News. What do you think of My Five Uncles, the show that replaced yours? What do you think, dumbass? That show sucks my ass. And why do you still look like a kid? I'm 51 years old! I just look like a kid. I'm gonna cock punch you. Ugh. Hey, how do you like that, you liberal media bastard? Richard Burns, WCTR News. Back to you, Leanne. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. I wouldn't sleep if I were you. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon, floating, mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me! Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once, and I was disgusted. I mean, people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent turlet anywhere, or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one. Come on, call up. Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery, or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the Glory Holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Verdant Bluffs. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travelogue again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. 
For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle, and there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Avrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something. But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. What about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Squidgy Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Padiston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Enjoy listening to Mental Patients. Area 53 is next. Is your child really an alien? Has the future already happened somewhere else? And finally, is cheese the latest weapon in the battle against communism? We explore deeper, much deeper. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Prepare to be appalled. Hello? Uh, Yes, hello. I would like to talk about a conspiracy. Okay. It starts with food and our toxic culture, these chemicals in our bodies. You must flush them out, Marvin. First, start by masticating. Uh, did, Did you say masturbating? Listen again, Marvin. Am I lifting here? Masticating vigorously. To really cleanse, you're going to have to do some yoga. The cleansing properties of doing yoga with a garden hose up your ass cannot be exaggerated. Marvin, it's time for your down dog to really have a tail. I was wondering when my career would hit bottom, and now it's here, right before my eyes. Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge now. Foreigners are behind that Exorbio handheld gaming device to decrease our productivity and make our thumbs useless so our kids can't fire machine guns. I hear what you're saying about video games games, people are dying every day of malaria, and it's all because of the messages planted in our minds from that Degenitron in the 80s. Line 18. Hello. Okay, man. I warned you. I've been over to the other side. What are you talking about, buddy? I've been inside. Inside everything. Seen everything. Remember the first time you did mushrooms? There are aliens living in the state. Aliens. And I've held them in my own hand. Everybody, go to the desert. Beg their forgiveness. How do you know all this? I went to the camp. Believe what you want to believe, but ask yourself, why should I make this up? The only thing I want to ask myself is how I can keep you off future shows. Oh, God. Uh, Kevin, hello. You're on the air. All the missiles are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I could launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone. Really? Great. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. 
I only use my powers for good. Ah, look, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be naked, and women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, going to the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is Montag. Okay. My name's Montag. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I got that. Hey, have you ever leveled a house with a helicopter? Uh, no, but... That'd be really cool. Oh, I thought you were a DJ. You used to talk more about killing people with helicopters. I prefer electric cable, tightly wound around people's throats, watching them go blue in the face. We have a lot of aerospace fans and plenty of murderers who like the show. Inside, I feel like it's time to close the pod bay door and take a rest. Until next time, reset your memory chip and don't believe what they tell you. This is Marvin Trill. You're leaving Area 53. Kiflum! Be careful. That was Area 53, where reality is an alien concept. Talk is cheap, especially on this station. Featuring more rich, angry people complaining. WCTR. Turn over in case you learned something. The news is next. Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Unfair and skewed for you. In the top stories, everyone is trying to kill you, but at least you're not in prison yet. Disgraced movie star Jack Howitzer broke his silence recently, following his on-air murder of radio host Billy Dexter. Facing trial and a possible death sentence, Howitzer spoke to Richard. WCTR would like to be clear, we did pay for this interview. That's right, Leanne. I am Richard Burns, here in Los Santos Prison. As we all know, since politicians stopped musicians from coming here to sing songs about shooting your woman on drugs, everyone is now questioning their sexuality. Jack Howitzer, you're facing a death sentence. How do you feel about that? I broke out of a POW camp in Korea, all right? So I'll be out of here soon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was a movie, and it wasn't real. Oh, no, it was real. I'm a veteran of over 40 films, but I've got a different Ho Chi now. Say hello to the newsman, Ho Chi. Um, hello? You want me to kill you like the last Ho Chi? Say it like an Asian girl. Uh, hello, hi. Wow, Jack Howitzer. That is a fine prison bitch. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> Richard Burns, WCTR News. The trial of allegedly disgraced police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski began yesterday. Although Mr. Pulaski was not at court personally, prosecutors maintain both are guilty of murder, racketeering, drug running, and sexual offenses. Defense maintain officers were just doing their job. Government officials are denying any knowledge of black helicopters that were recently seen flying over the state. Black helicopters? Uh, what black helicopters? That clears it up. A Las Venturas institution, Caligula's, forced to admit that it was recently robbed. It's the first major heist carried out on a Venturas casino in 30 years. Government officials are not ruling out foul play. Meanwhile, no explanation has been forthcoming as to why the Sherman Dam stopped generating electricity for a few hours recently. One bystander blamed aliens who drink electricity before deflowering virgins. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. It's going to get worse. Trust me. The most boring show with a brand new host, Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America on WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media. You may hate us, but <laughs> I gotta tell you, we hate ourselves more. And stop accusing us of being liberal. What a load of crap. This station is owned by ammunition. I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time, and it just gets glossed over. But <laughs> it also means I, I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a man who's got all of America talking with his unique approach to spiritual matters. He's helped thousands, or so the press pack tells me. Chris Formage, founder of the Epsilon program, is here. Hello, Chris. Kiflam, brother, brother. <laughs> what does that mean, man? So, Epsilonism, is it a load of crap, or is it the future? Well, what do you think, Laszlo? I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I grow my own religion. <laughs> That's just why I don't know, I'm kind of spaced out. I mean, but... You guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflam. Well, whatever. Both sound addictive to me. You know, only popular people are addicted to either. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Chris, Epsilon sounds awesome. But if you read the fossil records, hunter-gatherer dudes had it made. I mean, who wouldn't want to drag their women around by their hair? They smoked anything they could find. That's, like, so freaking cool. Then all the men would, like, disappear for days at a time, and you'd only hear beasts shrieking in the distance. 
You know, I went to a museum once. That, that guy's got a point. Points are irrelevant, Laszlo. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be happy, Laszlo? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Yes, obviously. Then why do you mock the happiness of others? Well, I mean, this is Vinewood. We're all supposed to be, like, psychotic and dog-eat-dog dog and, you know, bang your best friend's wife. I mean, I'm with that last guy. We all have a primitive side there, Chris. I mean, you should have heard the music I used to like in the 80s. It was, it was hysterical. What's hysterical about being descended from a sponge and not knowing it? Uh -huh. What's funny about being told that the world is millions of years old when, in fact, it's only 157 years old, fact, and its age does not change. There's nothing funny about that. It's just weird. You know, that voice of yours, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I can believe anything you say. My time has come, Laszlo. And so has yours, if if you let it. Um, well, you know, that, that, that sounds good to me. Hey, wait. Are you going to try to sign me up for the military? That happened once before. I mean, I'm into killing people, and I can say, I'm crying when I'm done killing. And then there's Listen, hope. my friend. You can mock, but I know the truth about you. I can see past your jokes into that scared little boy beneath. You, you my friend, like a lot of other people, are being lied to. I totally agree with you, finally. Inversion therapy. I owe my mom a huge apology. <laughs> Listen, pick a new set of lies. Mine are better. Let me ask you something. When did you last get laid, Laszlo? <laughs> Speaking of lies. Wait, look. I'm not an egg. I got laid this morning by twins. Whoa. They each laid an egg, and I formed out of them. <laughs> what are you talking about? It, great. A horny cult leader with a breakfast fixation. I love it. You know, I'm thinking of a cult centered around grits. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. There already is one, and it's called the South. <laughs> For the last time, this is not a cult, Laszlo. It's a fellowship of like-minded adults who tithe money in exchange for salvation and merit badges. Every single thing we do is voluntary, including the swinging and making things up. Why is this whole town obsessed with swinging? Oh, let's go to the phones. Yeah, hey, Laszlo, love the show, man. Hey, I really love to make out with hot chicks in church. Perfect. Join us. We've put a price on salvation, and it's a price worth paying, believe me. Look, if you crave sexual conquest, family betrayal, class warfare, and really feeling like you are a part of something, then just do it. Just do it. It's so easy. Join the Epsilon Group. Uh, Chris, stop trying to recruit people. I mean, you even say you just make this stuff up. Let's go to the phones. Hi, La Laszlo? Ah, oh, Darius Fontaine, look, I told you to leave me alone. Look, look, it was an unfortunate incident that happened to your mother, but I was quite clear. Grandmother, not mother. It's your fault it doesn't work. I nearly went to prison, man. What you told me to do is illegal in most states. Whatever. Look, Chris Formage is a liar and a cheat. He made it up. It doesn't help anyone apart from him. The fact is people need to face their fears. Remember, I always say that. Face your fears. Don't run away. Darius Fontaine can kiss my ass. Oh, you'd, you'd like that? Would, would you like that? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Because you are the devil. People aren't really afraid, you know. Yet you make them kill their families. Fears have to be faced! That's what I always say. Just ask Laszlo. Hey, don't bring me into this ruckus, Darius. This is between you two wackos. I mean, and you stay away from me, Darius. I've got a restraining order, dude. Laszlo. The only way that you can really communicate with your ancestors is to pay someone like me. Just a second. I want you to try something. Touch my cane. This whole town, man. I, I think you've seen too many movies, dude. You can be happy. Listen, join us. Be famous. Find your true self. Have a breast, nose surgery, whatever you want. Lie with nine new partners a week. It explains everything. If there are no women, make them. From sand, from garbage, out of thin air. The rich cry too, Laszlo. Well, that's an interesting theory that sounds like it was formulated with pharmaceuticals. But, you know, I would like to find about being rich and crying, because right now I'm just poor and crying. But this is the West Coast, you know. I'm only into lesbians, man. It's destiny. Vinewood only lets you down. 
In the Epsilon program, there are no series finales. It goes on and on and on. We don't abandon you. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna have to abandon this show. Great, my first show and a dude nearly kills me. Now I'm being harassed by a former sociology professor and an alcoholic turned self-deifying cultist. Please, I gotta get back to the East Coast. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo on WCTR. Culturally, this country is flatlining. Now you know why. Lonely? It's about to get much worse. Lonely Hearts is next. I'm Christy McIntyre, and this is Lonely Hearts. You know, when we get dumped or mom dies, it's really a good thing because, really, I want you to listen to me. Pull over. I said pull over. Life is not a game. Life is love. First caller. Jess, remember me. I told you, leave me alone. Sometimes the heart is confusing, lady. So is the brain. You talk to much. If you look out the window, <laughs> you will notice your car is on fire. Oh my god! Fernando is back. Women know nothing about love. Ellos no saben nada. This is why I am here. Fernando grows tired of hearing women on the radio with bad advice. Because if you close your eyes, you can be loving anyone. Especially when you are alone on an airplane bathroom and people are knocking on the door and you keep flushing and flushing. Mm, let's take a caller whose heart is on the line. Love is finally in the air. Hi, I love the show. I'm in a great mood. My mistress just got her period. I love that day. Anyway, I love my wife. I have 18 children and... Why you have so many children? Are you a man with a fire in his loins and a hole in his johnny? Well, I can't really talk about that. I'm passing on a tradition. Raising little soldiers. Skip long. You sound like you enjoy the fetal position and sucking your thumb. Wow! How'd you know? I always know. It's fine. Fernando loves to suck his thumb too. It's so hot and sexy, people. Love yourself first, and then focus on others. You're number one. Your spouse is number two. And in the ultimate scenario, they're number three. And number two comes from Las Venturas phone book after you see Fernando's ad in the classified. Maybe we leave that for now, amigos. Line eight. Daisy, you're on the new and improved Lonely Hearts. Conmigo, Fernando Martinez. Speaking of number two, I totally love my boyfriend, but like the skid marks, I don't know what to do. Yes, cars and pants have a lot in common. A real man leaves his mark like a stallion. But I mean, I smell it, but I don't say anything. And he just rolls down the window and acts like it's all cool. Well, it's not cool. Why do men have this problem? Fernando learned this years ago while playing emotional music. Inside every great man is a wounded little boy, full of fire. Fire from his ass, climbing trees, blowing up frogs, beating up slow classmates, sleeping with your friends. All in the day's work. It is life, it is love, it is better than words, I think. On the mind of line four is a guy who calls himself Carpenter Chris. Hell yeah, I'm a carpenter. I drink all day and nail two by fours. Oh yes, little people need love more than anyone. I have one client who calls me all the time. The girls complain he's stuck in the 70s. Let's take another call. Fernando is in charge, riding the phone like a cheap floozy. Line six. Hi, I've got a very extensive pornography collection. It takes up the whole house. What does that say about me? It says what somebody should say. Maybe I say it. Listen to Fernando. There is nothing like the real thing. It is so silly to spend hundreds of dollars on videotapes of people making passion when you can make the tapes yourself and sell them and make money. Let Fernando heal you like a chiropractor, but not as creepy and addictive. Hello, Frank from Foster Valley. I wish my dog could talk and cuddle me all night. Jew, stay away from animals. It's not legal, not even for me. It is no moral. Maybe someday I set up a petting zoo for people like you. When you want to understand the connection that keeps us on this planet since the dinosaurs, when the passion burns like a nasty itch, when fate caused you to leave a town after an incident, or the risk of a father shotgun, is fate an incident? Is a five alarm fire an incident? I come to Las Venturas, a city with more love than it can handle. Love is realizing your calling. I say this, I once played music that brings passion. But I realize you can have even more passion with a credit card. People of Ventura only care about slap machines. 
Yes, maybe you pull the handle and win the backdoor passion. It is different with every woman. Some women need the soft touch because they have been traumatized. Others have already been traumatized, so you treat them like a truck driver and steal a six-pack on your way out. What are you talking about? I am talking about passion. I am talking about romance. Hey, let me back in. It's my show. I teach you how to talk in just a second. You be quiet. Cállate. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. It is so good to teach you about love. San Andreas, you, in your car, touch yourself. I love you all. Christy, I will be out in five. Wear something slinky but sophisticated and trashy. Your heart is no longer lonely. Fernando has been here. This was Lonely Hearts. Get out of here, you creep! Oh my god, is that bouche cologne you're wearing? Yes, that is bouche cologne. Do you like that? And do you like this? Oh. This is Fernando's signature move. Fernando, that Latin passion is amazing. Oh, wow, that, oh. that's an enchilada. Oh. Let me see that. Oh, I, I love taco. Let me see yes. that taco, please. Give it to me, Fernando. So juicy. That was Lonely Hearts, only on WCTR. Next up, the reason you're afraid. The news. Leanne Forger, WCTR News, reporting what makes the administration happy. Today's top stories, do trees cause baldness? Is noise the new silent enemy of your family? And a special report on France, one nation's obsession with stand-up toilets. Breaking WCTR news. Navy officials are denying that a hydroplane was stolen from a marine amphibious assault ship recently, despite eyewitness reports to the contrary. Taxpayers on the scene are not happy. I pay my taxes. That jet is supposed to be bombing school. And the FBI is investigating possible links between the massacre of Ferrelli family members and the slaying of the Sindaco family. Unconfirmed reports suggest a similar style of execution was used in both hits. An official commented it could be a wormhole in space. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Don't turn it off. Trust me. Coming up next, it's time for the man who can grow anything big and strong. It's Gardening with Maurice, broadcasting live from his garden. Howdy doodles, this is Gardening with Maurice, and I am Maurice. Ever since man was kicked out of the garden, he's been striving to get back in. I believe all of life's answers can be found in something as simple as a flower. It's stamen, it's pistol, it's pollen, just like me and you. We're going to the phones, hello, you're on Gardening with Maurice. I am Maurice, go ahead, call her. Uh, yes, thanks for having me on, I'm a big fan. Uh, I have a question. My melons aren't big enough. I thought they were going to keep growing, but they just stopped. My next-door neighbor has huge melons, and everyone just fawns over them. Oh, they taste so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do I do? Ooh, I would love to see your melons. Look, gardening is a spiritual light journey where you become one with nature. However, sometimes nature needs some chemicals to, you know, kind of kick things into action. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitera uh, It needs to be injected with a needle, so be very, very careful, and inject that right into your melons and they will grow enormous. Thanks so much, Maurice. You're the best. Yes, I know. I know that. I've been at one with nature for so long now, I can't remember what it's like to sleep inside. <laughs> Next caller. God, I was on hold forever. Uh, I've heard that facials are great really make you look younger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should know. When you look like a train wreck, you need a little makeup or some such. You sound like a lonely spinster with two pussies. Cats. It's the menopause, Maurice. I'm having hot flashes, okay? Taking a pause from men, huh? You know, I should try that. For your face, try nature's cosmetic camouflage. Cleopatra took milk baths with cereal each morning. Try tomatoes, too. The acid is great. It makes your face just peel right off. Hey, thanks, Maurice. That's me, fertilizing minds. Enough of you voyeurs out there and your vicarious gardening. I want you to join in on the fun when you stick your hands in the mystery of nature and you pull out a worm or a tuber. God, I love tubers. So 
plump and juicy. Hello, Mike from Prickle Pine in Los Venturas. Hey, Maurice, first time caller. My name's Mike. I work on my lawn and garden all weekend long because I got this raging Oedipus complex. And I like drinking beer and riding around on the lawnmower, too, because, you know, the vibrations are kind of cool. But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm. I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. Listen, I want you to listen to me. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, good. That was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Mark. Now, listen up. Listen closely. I want you to pave over your entire yard. Okay? I want you to just pave it over with cement or ass fault or whatever. Listen, I have the Maurice Mansion completely covered in astroturf inside and outside, which, by the by, is particularly handy when some big football players come over and we have a little midnight match of ultimate disc in the yard. Now, when your lawn is beautiful and green all year long, you can focus on the important matters if you get my drift. See, Gardening with Maurice is sponsored by the Happy Farmer. Yahoo! If you're afraid someone will steal your tomatoes, why not grow tomatoes in your closet indoors like me? The Happy Farmer, hydroponics, and more next door to Blotto's. I'm Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. On the next Entertaining America, hear the new host, Laszlo, as he conducts a hard-hitting interview with top Vinewood starlet, Jenna Forbes. Hey, Jenna, thanks for being on the show. Uh, You know, I've spent a lot of time with your work, uh, especially the (laughs) the last magazine you're in. Um, I gotta ask... Are they real? What? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. That was that was that was awful of me. Um, do you do you want to sleep with me? Uh, no. Now now you're sure about that? Yeah. Now I'm on the radio. Doesn't matter. Wow, that sounds entertaining. Don't miss the next Entertaining America with Laszlo. Breaking WCTR news. We go to Richard in Los Santos. Uh, dude, I am shit faced. Leanne, Los Santos is in flames. This riot is spectacular, man. I mean, I I can't even describe it. Storefronts are being smashed everywhere. There is some great stuff to be had. There is free beer for everybody, dude. I've been loading up. This is capitalism as it was meant to be, baby. Hey, hey. Get away from my news van. Yeah, that's right, I'm packing. Ha <laughs> I'm Richard Burns, bitch. Uh, police advise the state of martial law has been declared. You should stay in your home. Senators are burning the Constitution. Blah, blah, blippity, bloopity, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm Richard Burns. WCTR News. Jimmy. Jimmy, get me some more beer out of the back of the van and clear out some space. What? We're going to get ourselves a big screen. We'll keep you posted. Now back to regular programming. And now the number one show for vegetables on the radio, Gardening with Maurice. Okay, we are back in the garden. I'm Maurice, and we must answer nature's call. Going to the phones. Greetings, garden lover. What's your name? Hi, my name's Trish. Okay, is that short for Patricia? Uh, yeah. Oh, then what I asked is what your name was, not the nickname your skinhead boot-wearing friends call you at the rallies. Maybe you should do less drugs and learn to try a bit harder. Next caller! Hi, my name is Colleen, and my husband has a topiary problem. Ooh, this sounds serious. Well, he started off small scale, just recreational usage, you know, doing horses and cockerels, the odd unicorn, but it's kind of gotten out of control. Hmm, how so? He just can't stop. I mean, people think it's all fun and games, but what happens when the party stops? What happens then? Okay, just just hold the phone. Hold the phone and get a grip, okay? At my house, when the party stops, we pay the gimp, get rid of the sailors, and 15 men start crying in unison. Well, that's your business. My husband's reached bottom. It's terrible. Giraffes, lions, elephants, rhinos, all of them carved out of hedges. 
penguins, dogs, velociraptors, you name it, he's made a leafy version. What could be more natural than a man trimming a hedge into the shape of an animal? Very therapeutic. Makes a man feel like a god. When you can twist nature to your own perverse entertainment, then you know we've won. Eat me, Darwin. But now he's trimming bushes into a spaceship, a rocket, and a lance. He runs around with hedge clippers and screams, Trim that bush at our neighbors! He even fashioned a shrub into a kangaroo with a pouch, and he sleeps inside it some nights. Oh, he's freaking out on bush. He needs help. Please. You gotta help me. I hate hedges. Well, the Romans loved topiary, and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, then you bang his college son when the dad's out of town. Okay, next caller. Whoops, hold on a second, I'm blossoming. There we go, all done. My name's Henry. I want- Are you blossoming? I, uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I joined a cult and began tithing money in exchange for spiritual happiness and letting everyone take turns on my wife. Anyway, I have a lovely garden, mostly carnivorous plants. A Venus flytrap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel or a small horse if I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiments on human beings? Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the height of beauty and potential, it is time for it to wither and die. A bit like the British Empire. Because look at that whole place withering and dying right before our eyes. It's run by a queen. And if she had a pistol, she'd be the king. Luckily, in this country, we don't know the meaning of the word hubris. But hell, I'm all over the place here. It's so easy to get out of control when you're doing something that comes natural. Line two, you're on gardening with Maurice. Yeah, my name is Terrence. Can I call you Telly Welly? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm growing flowers, but sometimes I get really angry and fly off the handle and commit herbicide. I don't mean to. I say, I didn't mean it, baby. You'll be all right. Then I cry and wear a diaper for two days. A flower is nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished. Like a life support machine or, or a cigarette, which I won't be able to smoke anymore if the fascists in the state government have anything to say about it with that damn Proposition 421. Tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it. Like coal and opium. Next caller. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your nuts off, because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, so many vegetables on this show. Tards. Yeah, that guy was talking about bugs and plants that eat them. I got a better solution. Put pesticide in the sprinklers. My kids love it. I mean, the ones that lived. Oh, lovely. You're a lovely human being, you fucking imbecile. You morons in this town are spreading like weeds. Like little bastard dandelions. I wish I could just pop every one of your goddamn heads off. Hello, Line 8. You're on Gardening with Maurice. Yeah, I heard what you said about bonsai trees. And you know what? You can stick that green thumb right up your ass. <laughs> oh, yes! Another man who grows miniature plants so he can feel like a giant. A real man loves enormous trees that he can have his way with, chopping them down and using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time, literally. But again, like a seed sown in a hurricane or a mushroom spore from outer space, the garden goes on. I'm Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. Want to be too scared to go outside? The news is next. Leanne Forger, WCTR State Controlled News. Pravda, breaking news. Is skateboarding making your son impotent? And how to find out. Today's top stories, why hatred is good for you. Foreigners, worse than we thought. 
And our top story concerns the death of recently cleared police officer Frank Tenpenny. His body was found in the aftermath of the recent riot set off by his acquittal. Coroners took several days to identify the body which had been mutilated and stripped by the homeless. More on the riot of the century. How do we keep it from happening again? Richard is on the streets with rescue workers. Uh, <laughs> Leanne, I don't know if you've ever covered a riot. Uh... But the scene here is amazing! Rescue workers are opening up a car with the Jaws of Life right here! It is so cool! I'm on fire! Hey, shut up, yeah. bitch! I'm interviewing! Yeah. I'm what, you're ruining my report! Shut up! Hey, hey, rescue guy! Come here, come here! Richard Burns, WCTR News. How's it going? You dumbass! I'm trying to save this woman! Get out of here! I'm trying to save this woman. Step back. Yeah, well, see if I give you any beers from my news truck, you overpaid prick. Leanne, this town is going to need some healing. Back to you. Uh. Hey, why don't you use the jaws of life on your fat wife, dude? <laughs> Did you hear me rank him? That was rad. I'm so glad you're okay, Richard. <laughs> Hey, baby, are we off the air? I looted some great stuff for our apartment. A fat bearskin rug, a new blender, a, a double ender. A <clears throat> Currently, we have no more information. And in entertainment news, the comeback of the year. Disgraced drunkard Mad Dog, who was recently saved from jumping to his death by a mystery assistant, is on top of the charts with a new album and a sellout tour planned. Yes, people, the wait is over. Mad Dog is back on the top where I belong, baby. Number one, now I want to set the record straight at this point. I've been hearing all kinds of shit like I was drunk and I was on some drugs and I had a breakdown of some shit. I was never in a hotel in Las Venturas. That's bullshit. They just hating on the player, man. They been hating on me since I was in baby shoes. I was in the studio, yeah, took a little time off. I watched y'all rappers get out there and try to do your thing, but now I'm ready to drop this dog shit on your whack ass rappers. I got a new manager, his name is Carl Johnson, and we gonna take this rap game to a new level by storm for the second time. Yeah, bitches, sign up right now to get in my whole roster. It's gonna be big. Yeah, get take a number, ho, take a number. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. This is the end. And a new beginning. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR.